Hey, Brian G. Johnson here, and today I want to share my thoughts on what it means to think and grow rich. Now, you might know, or maybe you don't, but I'm talking about the amazing business book that was written by Napoleon Hill and published in the 30s. This book has had a massive impact on society. It's been the blueprint for so many wealthy people. And I wanted to stop and really, like, give you some concrete examples of how I've stopped, thought, uh, had the ability to think, process information, and it's led me down a path of true happiness, of living a fabulous, wealthy life. You know, when I first heard about this book, when maybe when you hear about, you know, thinking and grow rich, you're like, rich, you're, what the heck? What does that mean? That's silly. Well, Here's what it means to me. You know, it, the process starts when you have a, a, a fixed in your mind exactly what you want and you understand how you're going to go about and get it. The story starts for me in August of 2013 when I was asked to speak at Marketing Mayhem in Orlando, Florida. I began to piece together a presentation about how I optimized my marketing blog to drive more traffic and to uh, convert that traffic into an action and the action I was uh, desiring was to build my mailing list. And I talked about a lot of the newfangled technologies, Optimize Press 2, some interesting calls to action. But at the same time, it was all centered around some business principles that I learned from Zig Ziglar around, uh, you know, people listen to and buy from those people that they trust. And I wove that message into my presentation and I called it Trust Funnels. And again, really about connecting with other human beings, adding value, and that's what my presentation was all about. Now, sure, I shared all the ninja tricks, the plugins, how I optimized my marketing blog, marketing Easy Street, but at the end of the day, none of that really matters if you're not able to add value and connect. So that's what I really wanted to get across. And as I returned, home to lovely Colorado Springs, I, I thought, you know, I love this uh, message that I'm sharing with the world and I want to do more of it. And I began to outline a ebook that I would self-publish based on my concept of trust funnel. And I moved forward and I made this decision up in my mind. And ultimately, while I was planning on self-publishing, and I was going to talk about SEO and, and in WordPress and driving traffic, at the end of the day, what's really most important to me is having impact, living a fabulous life, and helping people to succeed and achieve their dreams and goals. And with that, I started heading out and I really looked at you know what was lacking in my business and I got out and I started heading to events and meeting with people and one of the events I attended was put on by Ken MacArthur and his uh, JV Alert event which was in Denver, Colorado and I was able to uh, get with Joel Kahn and I met David Hancock and some other folks and that really started leading me down a path of publishing and signing with Morgan James and ultimately launching uh, the book that I'll publish soon and again you know what happened was a uh, Joel presented at JV Alert and I had a chance to get with Joel and spend some time and hear his recommendations and uh, take in his ideas about how I should move forward and in doing that it really made sense to me I went back home, I had a chance to think, and I realigned my priorities and my focus. <clears throat> and I thought about, you know, uh, really connecting with David Hancock. And I filmed a video that I sent off to David Hancock about, you know, why this book should be published. And I got out and I met people and I hung out. And I continued to move down this path and I began writing my book. And at the same time, my brain was given a task, and that is to write the best book you can to have the most impact, to connect with people, to add value, to gain um, uh, influence in the marketplace, 
<clears throat> and this is exactly what Think and Grow Rich is really all about. You know, you're not able to do that until you create a clear, concise plan of action, until you know what you want, and not just know what you want, but you've got a plan for how you're going to get there. And I was on the path. I had a plan. I was going to be a published author. And now my brain was starting to give me ideas on how I could do a better job with that. And I wrote and I wrote and I wrote. And I started nearing the end of the book. And wow, after you know seven months, I had written over 90,000 words words i had all this amaze all these amazing ideas and strategies and tactics and i knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that this thing was going to impact people and at the same time there was my brain on overtime trying to help me get to where i want to go and it said you know brian why don't you go have some professional pictures taken because all those fancy pants authors they have those fancy pictures and you know maybe you want to brand your website and take it to the next level because as that book becomes available you're going to want to have an awesome professional look at, that people really connect with and it it should encompass what you're all about your brand should be a reflection of you and these are all the things that my brain was able to help me with when i gave it a very specific instruction on helping me to not only just write a book but the best book I possibly could to add value and then how are we going to release that book to the marketplace to get that traction to drive that traffic and so on and the thing that's really rewarding now is as I continue to go through these things in life I'm getting all kinds of amazing feedback people are saying wow Johnson, what you've done with your website is wonderful. It really captures your brand. And people really respond to what I'm posting on social media because it's just me, right? There's no kind of other stuff. It's really the essence of Brian G. Johnson. And it's all based on, guess what, folks? The subconscious mind and thinking and growing rich. So if you haven't stopped to really figure out what you want to do in your life, for goodness sakes, now is the time. This is magic time. Anybody can have anything they want when you stop and decide that you really want it and you start taking steps towards that. It, you're going to have uh, confusion. You, you might not be sure. But as you continue to move forward and take small steps day by day, these steps can help you to move forward, to get what you want. And to me, that's what uh, Think and Grow Rich is really all about. You know, the opposite of thinking is not having a plan in place. And that's actually, according to Napoleon Hill, drifting. And so many people go throughout their life and they drift and they're not happy uh, with the way things turned out and of course not because they never created their own plan of action I learned about these ideas about a drifting mind and in a mind that has one purpose in Napoleon Hill's book outwitting the devil so I'm gonna ask you what is the thing that you want out of life and how do you intend to get it? Because it's not just enough to want a lot of money. Your brain can't help you with that. It's not specific. Figure out what you want. Figure out how you're going to get it. And then stake your claim. Today, I stake my claim. It's Brian G. Johnson, author of the book Trust Funnel. I hope you found this video to be helpful. Please share the love. Hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know that this video connected with you. And you can bet your bottom dollar that I'll respond. Thank you so much for listening. Take care.